feel awful. <laughs> Not awful in my pants. In your pants? Yes. Not awful in my pants, but awful for some other reason. If you watch this show with any regularity, you'll know that... Well, I'm, first of all, I'm sorry. And then... <laughs> You'll know that, you see, I got, I got my Doctor Who TARDIS here with, with my uh, testicles, well, not my testicles, but <laughs> kangaroo testicles hanging on. I thought, you know, it's a long story. Anyway, there's a kangaroo testicles on my TARDIS. I, you know, I wrote, put a face on them and cheered them up, but... They, <laughs> although, I, I think, to be honest, the kangaroo's a long way past cheering up now. <laughs> anyway, I've decided it's disrespectful to have, you know, testicles hanging from your TARDIS. That's not right. What would Doctor Who say? He'd be like, whoa! These look like testicles from another dimension. Excellent Doctor Who impression, Craig. Thanks, guy on the internet that won't be saying that to me very soon. All right, so anyway, I've decided to take off the te kangaroo testicles from my Doctor Who, and then I thought, because it's disrespectful to both the ex-kangaroo and the Doctor Who to have the testicles, and then I thought, well, what can I possibly hang testicles on where I don't give a crap who I'm offending? <laughs> and then it came to me. <laughs> I have a model of the Eiffel Tower on my desk. <laughs> no! But! But! The French are crafty because they've painted this Eiffel Tower like the old Stars and Stripes. And there's no way this American is hanging kangaroo testicles on a Stars and Stripes, even if it is on an Eiffel Tower. <laughs> so what do I do? I replace the Eiffel Tower. It's like Magic Week, isn't it? <laughs> I replace the Eiffel Tower and I've decided to hang my testicles on the hand sanitizer. <laughs> That way, everybody wins. <laughs> and you see, kids, that's an example of how if you share your feelings, things will work out. <laughs> of course, in real life, problems are much easier than this to solve. <laughs> the only trouble I'm worried about is that when I use the sanitizer, it'll go on the... <laughs> It'll, it'll go here, and at a certain point, that's going to start to look pretty sensory. Uh, in fact, I think we may have wandered into pixelation area already. Right, take, put them around the other way and we're all right. So that's not pixelated, that's too penisy. Oh! Well, just know that behind the hand sanitizer, is the testicles. <laughs> the Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by New Advil Congestion Relief, the right sinus medication for the real problem. That was great, that was great. We will just do it one more time. That was almost perfect. 
I'll come back out, you pretend to be happy to see me, I'll pretend that I'm... Uh, I can't pretend. You're adorable. You complete me. And now, for all the ladies living alone, here's my listening face. And for the ladies not living alone, here's my listening face. And for all the men... Yeah, that's everybody, isn't it? And for all the cats... The hell is this tonight? Where's it going, this? It's going nowhere. Except to say... It's a great day for America, everybody! It is a great day for America. And... It is a great day for Mark Zuckerberg. He has been named the Person of the Year by Time magazine. Now, I'm sorry if you don't recognize the name. A magazine is something people used to read. <laughs> you see the editorial board at Time magazine says, we need to attract more young people. What about that guy that did the internet? <laughs> or Bieber. <laughs> Zuckerberg, what did Zuckerberg do? He invented Facebook? Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, you've made the world awesome. It's a very uh, bittersweet uh, week for those of us in the International Brotherhood of Talk Show hosts, though. This week we say goodbye to one of our own. He's retiring. I'm talking, of course, about Larry King, the big kahuna, the chief of beef, the zen of CNN, the man with the glasses who'll kick all your asses. <laughs> Larry's show, Larry King Live, has been on the air for a record 127 years. <laughs> we, do we have a no way. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's in the record books. Do we have a picture of Larry? There he is. No, I... <laughs> I think he looks good there. Let me see him again. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Larry makes I... me want sex. <laughs> okay. Larry actually started in, in radio. If you're too young to remember radio, it was like a blog that yelled at you. <laughs> That's where Larry developed his habit of taking phone callers. You know, the callers that would call in at Larry King Live, which is great. It makes the show feel unpredictable. I always felt bad, though, for Larry when he didn't realize he was being pranked to call. He'd be like, you know, Amanda Hoggenkist, you're on the air. <laughs> Get me Amanda Hoggenkist. <laughs> She's not there. Let's move on to our next caller. Two guys from Intercourse, Pennsylvania. <laughs> Harry Balzac and Hugh G. Rection. Are you there? <laughs> Larry's going out with a bang this week, though. He had Barbara Streisand. He didn't, you know. <laughs> or maybe he did. I don't know. I haven't seen the show. Then. I think that would make the news. No, he had Barbara Streisand as a guest earlier tonight. They sang a duet. Brisket, people who eat brisket. <laughs> the hell's wrong with you, dude, with the wood? What the hell is that? You want to be noticed or something? Just do a phony laugh like everybody else. Start making me want to get the wagons in a circle, you make that noise. Can I say that? I know. Another reason I, I love Larry King, though, he found a look and he stuck with it. You know, glasses, tie, suspenders. Glasses, tie, suspenders. That's it. Look, there you go. Glasses, tie, suspenders. <laughs> See those glasses? This is true. They've actually got painted on eyes. <laughs> that way Larry can doze off when he's interviewing someone. <laughs> it's true. I've been on the show. He interviewed me. He didn't blink for an hour. <laughs> the glasses are just looking at you and I could hear him. <laughs> And his glasses have changed history. In 1985, the light reflected off the glasses and left a red mark on the head of a young Mikhail Gorbachev. <laughs> Larry, your glasses have burned me. Burned me full of freedom. A lot of people have made fun of Larry King, though. Not me. But what people do realize... <laughs> All right, a lot of people don't realize Larry King was a, was a hellraiser when he was young. He actually did time. We've got his mugshot. This is real. It's not a joke. Look at the mugshot. That's real. <laughs> I know. 
Oh! He was arrested in 1971. The crime was DWI, driving while itchy. <laughs> nah, he didn't get a DWI. He wasn't into that stuff. His real crime was reckless sideburns. Look. <laughs> now, I've heard people say uh, Larry is like a crazy grandpa who got his own TV show, and that makes me mad. And I'll tell you why, because that's kind of my thing. <laughs> And Larry has skills, he can interview anyone and make them interesting, whether it's Kevin Bacon or actual bacon. Whether it's... <laughs> whether it's meatloaf or the, the actual meatloaf, or whether it's Andy Dick or... Well, you see where I'm going. You see where I'm going. Ruh Roh is right. No, no, people say that Larry has a softball interview style, but he doesn't. He's actually very crafty. He, he asks soft questions to make people relax, you know. So, what's your favorite hair product? What day is it? And then when the... <laughs> when the guest is lulled into a false sense of security, he lets them have it. So, Robert Pattinson from Twilight, if you're a real vampire, where's your cape? Ah! <laughs> you know, Larry's been married eight times. Eight times! The ladies can't resist him because he's got that great pickup line. Hey, baby, your legs remind me of my suspenders. <laughs> They'd look great slung over my shoulders. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. It was interesting that all the women kind of went, actually, that's not bad. <laughs> actually, not bad. Larry's been married as, ma as many times as Henry VIII, and then the school kids, you know, have the, the rhyme to keep track of Henry VIII's wife. Divorced, beheaded, died, divorced, beheaded, survived. And there's a similar l rhyme for uh, Larry's wife, so I think it's uh, divorced, beheaded, escaped. Uh... <laughs> divorced, beheaded, escaped, zombie, lesbian, disappeared, inflatable. I think that's what it is. Yeah. And he's been replaced by that guy, Piers Morgan, that English guy. I don't like that. <laughs> There's one thing I can't stand, it's Europeans coming over here and taking American talk show jobs. <laughs> the hell is going on? We have to take a break. I have to go into the audience and apologize to the guy that I busted for going whoop. I think he's probably a CBS high roller. <laughs> There's no such thing as a CBS high roller. All right, we'll take a break. When we come back, it's commercial break time, isn't it? Balls. Balls? Balls. Balls. Balls, all right. Oh, I guess it's balls time then. Makes me want sex. I see. We'll take a break. I'll stand over in this direction. And we'll be right back. We'll see you in a minute. Justin Timberlake, I don't get it. No. I can make better music with my ass. Listen. Yeah. I just brought sexy back. smuggled in some deli meat from New York. Don't ask me where I keep it. Hey, hey! You want sophistication? Watch Charlie Rose. Huh? <laughs> The show that CBS calls, what, well, I don't know, we've never heard of it. <laughs> my, uh, my first guest tonight is a host. Uh, he's uh, he's uh, the host of The Sing-Off, which is on Mondays and Wednesdays on NBC.
Please welcome the adorable, charming gentleman that is Nick Lachey, everybody. Nick Lachey. seen you from you smell great man is it really yeah you don't disappoint i mean if, if you're out there thinking oh, but nick lachey looks like he smells good you're right <laughs> it, is that your own fragrance well, i haven't yet come out with my own cologne we're still mastering the scent on that one yeah that, that, i think you should yeah we're working on it we're working who's on it. we do you have scientists this is a it's a very exclusive midwestern group of uh of gentlemen working on this on this fine scent we've got going you're messing with me no, I'm nick kidding. lachey I've got no, yeah. I've got no. I haven't seen you since well, Cincinnati. Yeah, I saw you since Cincinnati, Ohio. We were uh... yeah. You came backstage. I was playing the theater. You came backstage. We made out. It was awesome. You know, it was. <laughs> It was. I appreciate that you shaved that day, by nah, the way. No, you came back with your now fiance. Congratulations. Very true. Thank yeah. you. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. No. Yeah, we weren't yet. Uh, we weren't yet engaged when we saw you there. I was very glad to see you that night, though, because I think that theater is haunted. Well, you did mention. I remember you mentioned in your stand-up you thought it looked like something out of Saw. Yeah. You know, like I've the... never seen Saw, but I thought it looked. Uh, <laughs> That it looked a bit like that. I gotta say though, I, you know, because Cincinnati tends to be like a very conservative place. You know, I thought, all right, well, you know, how's the reception gonna be for Craig in, in Cincinnati? And I walk up, and it's all these like 65-year-old women. That's in right. Line. That's right. And I think he's still got it, man. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. That's right. Well, you know, you gotta think, you gotta remember about women over the age of 30. There's a reason <laughs> they have children. <laughs> No, that you shouldn't. You shouldn't discriminate against women who are a little bit older because you're know, thinking that they don't like sexy talk. They love sexy talk. You think the experience goes a long way? Yeah, is what you're saying. yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Do you ever go up what, to? What is this thing? <laughs> it's a compensation for my small penis. <laughs> well done. Nah. Well done. I think it. I think it's a subtle statement that says there's a man that's not worried about his penis. You know, I. Uh, I found one of these in my in my swimming pool yesterday. What a penis? Well, I find those well, every day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you I, find a rattlesnake in my swimming pool. What, in Cincinnati? No, out here in, in California. Oh. And well, I thought to myself, what do I do with this, with this rattlesnake? Do I save it? Yes. Is that the humane thing to yeah, do absolutely. to save it? It's yes. part of the ecosystem. Yes, of course. It? So I saved it. You killed it, didn't you? I did. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pete already doesn't like me, so. No, uh, no. Well, why don't they like you? Are you cruel to other animals with legs? <laughs> Not recently. I mean, you know, I, I wore a fur coat. Well, it was a long story. You wore a fur coat? Yeah, it was. That's a bit gay. It was, a, it? it was a desperate. I was trying to. It was in college, you know. I was trying to find myself. It yeah. Was, yeah. It was. Hey, you find yourself in a fur coat? <laughs> <laughs> I found myself in a fur we, coat, Your we, Honor. You know, explore. I came to California to go to school, and things were new to me. And it's I, you know, warm here. You don't need a fur coat here. <laughs> Nick, time. you can't be wearing fur, man. It's wrong. Well, I'd come to find out. Peter's all over me. I yeah, can't yeah, no, I think when they hear about the rattlesnake, it's going to get worse. <laughs> <laughs> Although I, I do like a pair of snakeskin boots. They on a nice. woman. On a woman. Or a man. I'm European. Do you leave them on? <laughs> leave the boots on? Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Even Peter can't get mad no, at that, right? No, no, man. There comes a point where everybody goes, yeah, leave your boots on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, uh, any, do you, have you announced when you're getting married, or is that kind of... You know, I thought I'd save it for this exact moment. Really? Yeah. No yeah. way. Yeah. Really? Oh, you're right, okay. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know that was a month. No. <laughs> no <laughs> way is a month. <laughs> but, you know, it's one of those things where I didn't realize when you, when you actually get engaged that everyone expects you immediately to have a, a date picked out. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like, no, no. all of a sudden, it's like, when you get married, I have no idea. I don't even know what I'm wearing to the thing. You don't need to worry. Now, now, the, now the engagement has happened to you, it's all going to kick in, and you're just a passenger on the ride. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I'm telling you, man. That's what's going to... Once well, the engagement her. starts, it's like, whoa! Well, I told her. I said, tell me... I do. Boom. Done. <laughs> you're it. That's it. I said, just tell me where to be, you know, when to be there and what to wear, and I'll be there. I'll she seems up. like a very nice woman, though. I think you made a nice job. She's a... Yeah, she's a great girl. We, yeah. You know, we, we certainly... She also uh, smelled very nice. Nice, if you don't mind me saying so, yeah. In a different way, in a different way. I was a little confused when she sat on your lap backstage. That threw me for a loop. I thought that was friendly. Yeah. Also, <laughs> also, I, to me. I liked it that she did that, and also it comforted me because I was worried about the haunted theater. <laughs> did you go, hey, 
in that theater, by the way, which I kind of grew up in. I did a lot of shows there. But across right. the street, there's this place called Skyline Chili. Did you go over there when you were in the Chili place Saturday? across the street? Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, did you good try chili? It? Yeah, yeah. You liked it? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Did you have like the three way, or they have like the cheese? I had, I had the three way in the theater, and then I went over and had some chili. Because I always like to have a bowl of chili after a three way. <laughs> the things you learn about ah! me on this show. Cincinnati. Hey, listen, it's just manners not to have the bowl of chili before the three way. I think you know what I'm saying. It can get a little messy. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Well, anyway, so, no, you were Cincinnati born and bred then? Well, I was born in Kentucky, deep, like deep, deep in the mountains of Kentucky. Really? Sounds like, yeah. You don't have a Kentucky accent, though. Well, I moved, you know, before I was one years old, we moved to Cincinnati and I kind of grew right. up there, but. Uh, Can you, have you ever been to Louisville? Louisville? Louisville. I actually have a lot of great friends in Louisville. Right, because every time I, I've met quite a lot of people from Louisville, and I say, oh, you're from Louisville? And they're like, don't say it like yeah. that! Well, they kind of slur it. It's like, yeah, you've got to Louisville. say Louisville. 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 And I'm well, like, they call it the Ville. Oh, the which Ville? Which is very, yeah, that's the very trendy way to yeah, say it. Yeah, that's a bit for a coat, if you don't mind And if you say, say so. Louis, if you say Louisville, that's, you know, Louisville you're really... Louisville is not good, yeah. Have yeah. you gone to the Derby there, the Kentucky Derby? No. Oh, no, it's I've, amazing. I've, oh, you gotta I've go. I've never been to Louisville. Yeah. Oh, no, Pete is really gonna be all over me. I go to I go to horse races, I wear fur coats, and I peel yeah, a rattlesnake. Man, so you're really, just, but no, like, it's amazing. It's an amazing weekend. The the Kentucky Derby. Everyone gets dressed up and it's, you know mint juleps and it's. You fantastic. can get that in West Hollywood, man. Well, yeah. <laughs> what are you the fur, co the fur coats. Yeah. Or the now tell me about the big sing off then. How's that going? It's going great. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a show. Uh, we're doing all a cappella music, so groups from across the country, and uh, and they all come here and, and compete for a chance to have a record deal. I don't care for acapella music. No, no, not your I don't, thing. No, I don't. Do you? Do you like it? Well, we, I kind of grew up singing it with uh, with 98 Degrees, and we put that group together. We did a lot of uh, a lot of acapella stuff. So the one thing I think about it is is that you can't really hide behind it. You know what I mean? There's no there's no band. There's no backing. That's why just, I don't care for it. Well, I you like think to it hide behind something. Yeah, yeah, I like that. No, no, no I, it's great. No, it's it's very difficult though for the singers. Isn't a lot it? of talent. I mean, you know, these people are on national television and they're out there, you know, with no, nowhere why, to hide. Why really. don't they call it barbershop har harmonies? Well, anymore? I mean, that's like one kind of acapella music. But now you've got, you know, now there's all this vocal percussion and people, you know, doing all this stuff with their mouths. And as long as it comes from your mouth. <laughs> As long as it comes from your hey, mouth, I'm, I know, it's I never legal. Even said anything. You did. I didn't even do a thing. You were just like. Uh. <laughs> but no, it's uh, it's 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 incredible how talented these groups really are. You know, you get them out on stage on national TV and the pressure yeah. and all that stuff and, and the poise they have. It's pretty. Do you, pretty do awesome. you ever get nervous on TV? I think you get a little when you do like live TV, like our finale next Monday's live, but it's kind of a healthy. No, me, man. No. Yeah. Well, you're an old pro, you know. I mean. You call on. me an old hooker. Yeah. <laughs> No, nah, I don't. I don't you, do, you're nervous for the. Do you get nervous for the contestants? You worry about that? Well, when I first signed on to do the show, I thought this could be a real disaster. You know, these groups on TV like doing this, acapella. Well, yeah. pretty much like this. Yeah. 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 No, it worked out though. So it's, it's, it's like, a big yeah, show, right? Yeah, but they've they've uh, they've really done well. It's amazing. Yeah. No. Yeah. Good. But I was a little nervous. Man. Yeah. No. No. You're good. Hey, what about you singing? Are you going to be doing any? Yeah, I'm doing a uh, doing another record, getting back in the studio now. Finally, I'm doing it actually on my own. I used to be, you know, part of a label for like the last, you know, 13 years, and now I'm I'm finally stepping out and doing it on my own, which feels good. You know? That's nice. Yeah. So what does that mean? You have to open up in the morning, make the coffee, everything when yeah, you get in. Yeah, I pretty much have to do everything. I have to pay everybody and take care. Well, of you have to you know? pay. You're them kind too? of your own label. It's a, it's a but you know the music business has changed so much that it, there's all these opportunities to do things. I got nominated for a Grammy. Get out of here! I swear to God. For singing. Nah, talking. Yeah. 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 Did you really? Yeah, yeah. That's Congratulations, yeah, yeah. man. And people that's say awesome. to me, are you going to go? I'm like, no. So let's see, we got Pulitzer, we got Nobel no, no, Peace no, Prize, no, 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 Oscar, no. and, yeah, and, and, and Grammy. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the one I'm, I'm holding out for is... You're like the superfecta over here. Yeah. <laughs> I, the one I'm sad that I missed was the Cable Ace Award. That's mm. the... They don't have them anymore, though. No? They gave them all away. <laughs> It's too expensive Only to so make new ones. Yeah, they in make the new deck. Uh, yeah. Awkward uh, pause. Yeah. Uh, Rattlesnakes, anybody? Awkward, awkward pause or uh, her uh, mouth organ. Uh, Can you play choice. the mouth organ? The mouth organ. I'm scared to ask what mouth organ no, is no, code no. for. It's a harmonica. <laughs> there, oh, another. the mouth organ. Can you play? No. no. All right, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you know something, right? There, there I have backstage under glass backstage here. We have a golden harmonica mm. that I will give to the first guest that can actually play this I got a thing. <laughs> so, have you had Stevie Wonder on yet? No. John Popper? No. 
That's all. That's as that's far all as I go. Yeah. Yeah. No, but it has to be a celebrity not normally known for mouth organ work. <laughs> Who can play the mouth organ? Well, that doesn't leave many out there. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. <coughs> You've been to a few Hollywood parties. Let's see, yeah. You? Yeah. All right. What, you, what can you want to do? This, no, is, this is sterilized. Yeah, no, that's to, like... fine. Yeah, I used my uh, hand sanitizer nice. on it. Right. <laughs> All right, you're a musical guy. Oh. Like, you'll be able to figure it out. You ready? You got to tap your foot like. to the show where stuff <laughs> gonna happen. Anyway, actually, it's, it's gonna be good now because uh, my next guest is a sleight of hand artist, which means it's a, it, he's a magician. Now, the greatest honor that we can bestow on a magician on this show is to book a magician and it's not even magic week. <laughs> He's a slight, uh, a slight of hand artist. He's a performer and co-producer of Monday Night Magic, <laughs> which is in New York City. Please welcome Jamie Ian Swiss, everybody. Jamie Ian Swiss. say that you also smell awesome? Thank you so much. I, ne I, I nearly said awful. Well, I was a little jealous, you know, I mean, because just because, you know, the boy singer gets the nice smell thing, I figured, hey, I should have a shot at it. No, no, it's good. <laughs> oh, way to go after Nick Lachey, No, James. what? No, he's good, Nick Lachey, and he smells, did you smell him? No, I, I can't actually say I smelled him personally. Maybe, well, not right now. Have you heard that, have you heard that rumor that uh, red-haired people smell a bit weird? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we could find one and run yeah. an experiment. Do you know what? You know what we should do is we should send. You know Adam Savage at MythBusters. Very well. We very well. We should send it to Adam, and they should try and bust yeah, that exactly myth. Exactly, bust that myth. That, yeah. Would that, you go on MythBusters? Yeah. <laughs> People with we'll red hair smell better than the rest of us. Uh, uh, now well, on exactly MythBusters. Different. Maybe different. Maybe different. not better. But so, oh, well, all right, let's go over different myths. You it's, have not to be magic, it's not magic. It's not magic. Okay. Do speaking you, of red. Oh, speaking oh. of red. Oh, yeah. It's professional segue. Speaking of red, uh, two decks, red and blue, name one. Blue. Blue it is. It's yours. Take it out. Shuffle Thanks. it. While you're doing that... The Will, red I, do that? Will the, I take the cards out, too? It's easier. Right. The, red, uh, the red is isolated here in full view. We will not touch it until the magic moment. Okay? When's the magic moment? It's, it's patience. <laughs> We'll get there. I'm not finished shuffling. Okay. Stop hey, I'll, just, uh, I'll wait all right, here. I'm, all right, there. All right, go. fine. Uh, is there any way I could know the order of these cards right now? No, no, no. That's why they invented that shuffling. Right, stuff. exactly. I'm going to uh, show you these Look cards like this in a moment. Right. I'd like you to just, in a moment, I'm going to show you the cards like that, Craig. I want you to just think of any card that you see. Just think of one that you see. Ready? Right. Got one? Okay, yeah. Now, a lot of people ask me about the cards. I forgot, I forgot, I'm scared. No, no, I remember, I remember. That would suck. No, 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 I remember. Uh, a lot of people ask me about the cards I use, trick cards, mark cards. I use no special cards, except these are marked. Uh, but they're not marked on this side. They're marked on this side. The right. company does that to me so I can come tell one from another. Right, okay. It's a yeah, no, I got it. It's a factory it. thing. Okay. Right. Uh, I'm, but if I'm I could scared find, about my card. If I, I could find your card now, right. I'd have to read your mind. Isn't that right? Yeah, you'd have to. Uh, you couldn't do it. You, well, exactly. you got 52 yeah. at one shot is what you have. Do you I do guess. that math in your head? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> You're thinking of a, of a black card, is that correct? No. That's none in a row. Yeah, right. uh, but look, uh, all right. Only you know it. Name your card out loud. Really? You sure yeah. you want to take this? Out loud. Out loud. All right. Ace of Diamonds. A now, you actually saw an Ace of Diamonds, or you just kind no, of pulled I saw that one. out I saw of the one. air? I really? Saw one. Yeah. See, that's interesting because there's no Ace of Diamonds here. There's not even an Ace of Diamonds here. And that's because there's always one card I leave in the. Yeah, the box, the uh, ace of nine. Show it to me, show it to me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's, uh, I just went to the bathroom a little bit there. Uh, 
That's really you, good. You might want to guard your thoughts from here on in, but uh, yeah. then again, it's probably too late. Yeah, no, a little bit. So, uh, okay, it's a pr that's a pretty good way to have you, a pretty fair way to have you just think of a card, right? But right, let's, right. let's go with tradition. Right. Well, this is a deck you shuffled, right? These are yeah, yeah, reasonably yeah, yeah, mixed yeah. here, okay? Yeah. So, we'll, we'll do one the old-fashioned way. You'll pick a card. But if you just reach in and grab one, then somebody says, oh, I made you take it, or I pushed it in your hand. So, hold out one finger. Don't uh, pull it, man. Don't pull it. <laughs> It'll go off. <laughs> You don't want that to happen. Not, not That's like the last part of Mythbusters, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly, right. where stuff blows up. That's right. exactly right. Uh, put it on any card. Just actually actually put your finger on a card. Uh, I'm not going where you want me no, to no, go. Wherever you, no, no. Really. All right, that, there. Okay. That one, that one. This one. All right, now wait. Now, don't now. I'm going to give you a moment because once we look at it, uh, you know, I don't want you to tell me I talked you into anything. Is that the one or do you want to change your mind? No, no, I'm good. You're sure? Yeah. Okay, so that's the actual one yeah. with your finger on it. That's yeah. the actual one, that's right? That's it. Yes, okay. And it could have been any one of these. Yeah, right? but it's not. It's this but one. It's... <laughs> that's why you get the big bucks. Yeah, uh, right. uh, 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 <laughs> turn, uh, turn it over. What do you, you got? You, you want to see yeah, it? Yeah, all look. No, we're all going to look at it. You, you, but gonna... then you'll know what it is. It's not that kind of trick. <laughs> Turn it over. I guess you know what you're doing, man. No, no, all right, okay, five of, spades, five, five of spades. Five of spades. Five right. of spades. Now, this has been in view all since the beginning, right? And I like one of the things I like about magic is the magical moment. The moment when everything changes. Is this the magic moment now? It's coming oh, right yeah. now. See if you know it. Are you ready? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Everybody okay? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, now we started with two decks of cards. One of these decks is gone. I'm not going to touch it again. Reach in there. See what you find. <laughs> That's great. That's... Yeah. Man, if you, you cre keep bringing quality to the show like this, and everything else is going to look weird. Uh, that's, that really is truly uh, amazing. I've never seen anything like that. That's my job. And I've seen a lot of weird stuff. I, I have no doubt. Uh, so here's the thing. You shoveled the deck. You, you took this card. I'm going to, uh, and you could have changed your mind. It could have been any card from the yeah, deck yeah, you yeah, shuffled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're going to mark this card in an unmistakable, unmistakable way, okay? All right. So... Uh, if I could find the damn card. Yeah, yeah. There it is. Oh, there's five of spades. Oh, I'm gonna, we're gonna tear this five of spades. Yeah. In a way. In fact, you can fit. Tear that off. Right, okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's only the four of spades now. Snappy. <laughs> and uh, I don't want to. You're don't welcome, wanna... magicians. <laughs> I don't want to go near that, so put that corner out of my... Put it under the snake or something. Just where I can't get to it. And then take this... I'll put it inside the, the no, TARDIS. Just, yeah, fine. Inside? Right, you got to get to it later, so... Well, I, I open you, the door again. I'll okay. leave the door open. All right. Suddenly, it's like a little scenario from, you know, Little House in the Prairie or something. Uh, yeah, take, that's right. Little House in the Prairie had a Where they had tarp. police yeah, boxes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> take the rest of the card, fold it up in a little packet in quarters or eighths or sixths or something. Yeah, I can do this. And this now, I used to have an activity that required me to do something very similar. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea what that means. So now a little moment with the pocket handkerchief. Empty got papers? Who's got papers? Ah, uh, ah, uh, okay. Uh, all right, so a little moment with the pocket handkerchief here. <laughs> I have no idea what you're referring yeah, to. That's right. All right, so what you're going to put it in, in the those, 60s. So, what's uh, this, underpants? Drop that in there. All right. Okay. All right. Can you feel that? <laughs> yeah. Kind of. Pull this from the top. Pull, pull, pull what? The uh, whole thing, the whole thing. Pull the, the whole handkerchief. No, no, pull it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. Oh, hold it, right. Hold it. Get a good grip on right, it. Right, right, okay. You got all of it? Yeah, no, no, there it is. Yeah. Okay. Right. What are you doing, man? No, don't. Uh, you what did I? Are you going to touch my pants or something? <laughs> yeah. No, sorry. Right. And put this right over this here. Right. Okay. Yeah. And now, once again, for the magical moment. But this is a magical moment we're going to try and freeze in time. Because sometimes in our lives, we know the magic moment. We meet somebody special, we get a new job, or first child is born or something. Right. But sometimes we don't know the moment. I like those, the mysterious ones. It's not until you look back months or even years later and you say, ah, that was the moment that everything changed. Remember that? Right. Watch. That was it. That was awesome, man. Everything's, everything's changed. Already? And you're never going to forget it. Watch. 
What's that? It's a, a, it's a book of matches. Book of matches yeah. Right. The card's gone. All right. We'll need that in a moment. All right. Just put it aside. Meanwhile, hold your hand right here. <laughs> I think your card's in the box. Okay. <laughs> no, that's in ice. That's a block of ice. It's a block of ice with There's my... There's a five of spades in there. Oh, Drop it in there for a moment on the plate. That... Dry your hand for a moment. Yeah, all right. Light me a match. Uh, all right. <laughs> You're scaring me, man. What's that? Ready? Oh, now, I, now we're in my territory again. There we go. Now, it wouldn't be bad if this was a five of spades frozen in this block of ice since you shuffled the cards. You took that five of spades. I gave you the chance to change your mind. You didn't. But remember when you tore that corner off? Yeah. That made your five of spades unique, different from every, every other one in the universe. Will I get it out of the, the this TARDIS? This would be the perfect time. I'll get it out of the TARDIS. <laughs> it's gone. No, it's here. Because if that's a perfect match, it means this is actually your five of spades frozen in that block of ice, and that's a magic moment frozen in time. What do you think, brother? That's the most amazing trick I've ever seen. That, that, I'm genuinely, I'm genuinely impressed. You melted you my cold, it. cynical Scottish heart. <laughs> you, you, you can't top that. We're done here. Oh, I, got, I always got, you know. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Mouth organ or awkward pause? I thought you'd never ask. Mouth organ. <laughs> Could this be the night? He seems confident. Here. This isn't a gold one, is it? Not unless you can play, Junior. A little four bar blues. Let's hear it. Not yet. <laughs> All right, let me stop you. Let me stop you. That trick was awesome, but no gold harmonica for you. <laughs> All right, try. Jamie and Tristan are winning the greatest trick I have ever Really freaked me out that thing with the card. It's really look. It's really a. It's really a nice, and it's he really did it. But he left his magical hanky, <laughs> and it's just a hanky. Man, you'd have to be a magician to carry a hanky like that around, though. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that magical hanky and, and use it to perform magical things in my pants. In your pants? Yeah, I did actually say that, Jeff. Oh, biscuits. Yeah. <laughs> well. I can't believe he did that. That was the most amazing thing. Got a single clap from the sleepy dude in the corner. No, no, too late now. He just, he went like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. Well, that was, actually, I'm pretty impressed by what went on there. Not what I was doing, but what everyone, you know, Nick Lachey was, uh, you know, he was here, and then uh, Jamie with a trick, and the girl with the red hair who <laughs> smells completely normal. <laughs> CBS cares. So, we're gonna go. Um... <laughs> Good night, everybody!